here we've got a bunch of tiles. Now, this is very important. These are just prototypes that I have domestically printed. Uh, they're not on as heavy stock as, as the real thing will be. These are just for demonstration purposes. They're not double-sided. Not quite that clever to make my domestic printer line up accurately. The real things line up perfectly. Let me quickly grab one. This is one of the real, the real things, and you can see printed on both sides. They're a heavier stock and they line up great. Okay, anyway, back to these pro prototypes. So, what can we do with these? So the first obvious use we can set up is a nice little trail like this. Let me see what I've got here. I've got a whole bunch of tiles printed out. Let's find, yeah, there we go. There's another, another path there. Line them up nicely. So we've got a road. Um, in the set, this is the forest tile set. There are lots of nice straights, so you could actually make a rolling path that were occasionally interspersed with more interesting features than just straight path. But because they're nice, neat little tiles, um, you obviously want some straight paths. And then eventually we could arrive at a specific location, say like this pool. And of course, you know, we put our miniatures on. These are my much loved red box minis. Let's put some adversaries on. Who's guarding this pool? I've only got my trolls to hand. There we go. And very quickly, we've set up a nice little encounter map there. Let's take those off. Now, of course, it's all very easy to do these kind of straights, you know, just narrow passages. What else can we do? Let's keep this little clearing here as our entranceway. Let's put some adventurers on it. There we go. Let's have our party of three. And then what we can do, some of the tiles allow us to do, for example, this one opens up a little bit into a larger space. And then I've got a corresponding one. So we can make a kind of medium sized clearing like this. Let's just move it down there. There we go. So we've got our medium sized clearing. Let's put our troll in. Should we put the troll in as the adversary in every single encounter? That would be quite, look at this troll by the way. Ah, he's so good. Red box, red box games while well I looking up. They make the greatest miniatures, right? So yeah, there we've got that. Now, these are still quite quite small. I mean, it's, it has room for a, a three character battle there. How, what are we looking at? Say if we count that as the entrance, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight by four, not a bad size. But let's say we want to do something a little bit more ambitious. Let's move, let's move that out of the way. Let's get our adventurous style off there and then Actually, let's do this. So they can come in here. And then we've got these basically L-shaped frames, as it were, so that we can quickly pull together a much bigger space in which to battle. So that's a 24 inch square there, like that. Now you can see on these prototypes, we're getting a bit of curling up at the corners. That doesn't happen on the real thing. This is just because it's the thinner home printed paper and I've only just printed these. So the, the, the ink is drying and, and curling the paper. So we've got lots of, lots of room there. What might we want to add in or something like this? Look at this. Compass Rose, Devon Roo, Compass Rose from Campaign Coins. It's a map weight, effectively double-sided. Absolutely beautiful. So let's, we can pop that in so we can show directions. That's nice. Now, what if we want to go even bigger? Well, that's where these come in that just have one edge. So we can just put those in there. And then we can, do we have another one printed out? Yes, I think we do. There we go. We've got another one. So that's an even larger rectangular clearing so you can see and you can build these up you get plenty of these you even get ones that have absolutely no border on at all so we could make a, a three by three size grid with ease we could even you could go bigger than that so cool 